Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Um, what I'm gonna explain to you in short is about Stingerbot. Um, it's a bot system I've created for Marvel War of Heroes. Um, I'm just gonna give you a quick run through and um, well, for specific tutorials and such you can visit our homepage or check out the other videos which could be available by now. Okay. So first of all, after installing, uh, you will have a short uh, shortcut on your desktop called Stingerbot, or in your start menu, whichever you prefer. Okay, so let's open it up. First thing that you will notice is the login screen. In the top, you can enter your bot username, which you've uh, purchased from our website, and your bot password. Um, if you want to add a new, uh, add an existing game account to the list, you can do here, username and password, which is your mobit username and password. On the right hand side, we have a special function, which will register a new account. As you can see, you can read all the details here, it will register the new account, play the tutorial and complete device registration. However, it requires one token, which you can get from our website as well. So uh, let's let's start with a new one. So let's create uh, a new account. I'm just gonna call it something. Doesn't matter. Just uh, right. <laughs> okay. And password random. Doesn't matter. It's for tutorial purposes, anyways. And whatever gmail.com or something. Okay, so let's register a new account. As soon as you click it, um, it will connect to the bot server. The bot server will do all the work, so the client doesn't do anything at all aside from that, except receiving packets from the bot server saying what it's doing right now. <coughs> so, excuse me, I had a little burpsy. Okay, so as you can see, the bot server is processing the, tu the, the tutorial for your new account. Um, once that's done, it should um, send a new packet to the client, to the Stinger bot, saying what it's doing next. <coughs> so yeah, even if you, um, if any reverse engineer reverses the software, you will still need the bot server, because the bot server is doing all the work. And uh, this one is just receiving packets from the bot server or seeing the status. Right now it's registering the device for your account. Okay. Uh, also for the login, it goes the exact same. The bot server is doing all the work, not the client itself. The bot server is verifying everything on my page because I want to keep that system secure. Um, okay. So once it's done, what we're going to do is um there we go okay so your new account is ready please note down all the credentials so let's copy this and paste it into the account list copy this make sure like it said in top note down all your details because nothing is stored on the bot server it's only stored locally so make sure you save everything okay add to the list let's select a new account and click login so now it's connecting to the bot server and processing the login for Mobage. Once it's logged in, it will verify all the data and send the correct packet back to the client. And there we go. As you can see, uh, this is the main interface of the bot. On the right hand side, you can see all the details. Well, since we just created this account here, you can see the name Josh, whatever it is. Uh, level 2, of course, because it's just new, stat points, over, etc, etc. Okay, now I'm in the settings right now, but normally you're presented with this. So it will show you your uh, bot account details, so mine is Accents. I can connect 40 accounts, so now right now I got one bot running and I can still connect 39 more accounts. And since I'm the creator, I gave myself 900 and something days. Okay, <coughs> so first of all, um, just to show you, you got Show Game, which will show you the in-game. Of course, it's easy to manage. Um, here you can see all the details, and here you can see, you know, uh, blah, 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 the name. Okay, 
uh, actions, battle, it will go to battle, and so on, and so on, and so on. Alright, let's close this down. Now in the boat, uh, if we click about, you will see the latest version. So right now it's 1.13, well it's still internal elf, not a public release, so ignore this information. Um, the bot will automatically update, so whenever I provide a new update or release it, uh, no worries. If you have a bot running, the bot will automatically start downloading the new package and installing it and restarting your bot system. If you just open up the bot, it will do the exact same thing. Okay, so let's go back. So we got battle, which is basically the battle system. I've programmed it this way, so your win rate will be a lot higher than your lose rate. It will check your at uh, attack details and check the opponent defense details and such and compare them. It will show you the potions that you've used and shield barriers if active. Um, here you got your inventory so you can check out your card list. <coughs> it doesn't show you have anything from the team since I don't just started this account so it doesn't have too much going on. Okay, so important here is the filter. Uh, you can add common, uncommon, and such, and such. So when you start selling, it will start selling all the cards in the list, except, uh, except the ones on the left. It will keep the rares and everything like that. Same goes for enhancing. Uh, when you click on start enhancing, it will use this filter above, and if you checkbox, uh, use this checkbox saying enhance using rally points, it will use all your rally points to enhance the cards that you've selected on this side. Once it's done using the rally points, it will check this filter, and if anything is enabled, it will use the card list to enhance further. Now, aside from that, if you go into settings, and you check bo uh, use the checkboxes for get more cards and stuff like that, and you go back to your cards, once the list is empty down here in your enhance list, it will automatically check the gift box and collect new cards. So make sure you check out your settings for all of that. Let's go to the next one. Well, this is basically your items right now. So as you can see, nothing right now. So if I enable get other and items, what happens is that if you're not doing anything on the bot itself, so if you don't have quests or event or anything like that running, it will automatically check each minute. Uh, if you're not doing anything, it will automatically collect all your items and stuff like that. So if we go back to inventory item, you can see the network status is saying sleeping. So let's wait until it's done collecting anything from the gift box and stuff like that so we can have a little view of that as well <coughs> sleeping 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 still waiting so I don't know if it just checked or not oh there it goes okay so checking gift box settings as you can see and then it will be collecting all your stuff from the gift box so once that's done, let's go back to items again then and take a look if there's anything we've collected. Other is empty right now because I don't really have anything to put there yet. Um, shafts is for exchanging and gaining shafts. Uh, so you can set your filter up here and of course exchange the cards for it. Uh, event is the same um, down here. There's a checkbox if the event already you know is running. Uh, you can't use this box, but if it's not active and you have to wait for it to start, just check this box and it will start a monitor. So whenever the event starts, the bot will start. Unless you're running anything else in the bot, then it won't start. Okay. So once uh, if the event uh, right now it's a co-op battle event, um, if the event is in pre-registration there will be only one checkbox uh, visible here and we will say if you want to pre-register for the event if you check that it will automatically register you for that as well okay so uh, let's give a little uh, show about 
uh, running quest or something like that. Uh, before we uh, go into quest, you have friends. Now, here you can see your friends list, it's empty right now. Um, in the bottom, you can automatically search and add new friends. Check that one, it's always handy. And remove friends after a certain days that you've given when it's inactive. Now, here's a reset stat points. If you click that, it will show you a message box with you know the warnings about if you remove multiple friends at one day um, you will receive less stats so beware of that um, if you add friends to the right box when you reset the stats it will keep all those friends in the list okay so important is is that everything is in sync so if you enable auto search and add new friends right now we don't have any however when playing quests and you encounter a boss you can always ask a friend for support now if see it's already finished sending friend request if you don't have any friends at all um, what the bot will do if you have enabled this in the boss battle it will automatically search for new friends if you've enabled that so you can have a stronger fight against the boss okay well, you'll have to see that for yourself as well. Um, so right now I'm gonna enable use personal packs. I'm gonna gather all the event, uh, information, uh, gift box, I mean. Uh, I'm gonna add the stats to energy because it's faster on the leveling. Okay, so let's go to quest and just start the bot. Well, right now it's <laughs> sending friends requests again because it wasn't done yet. <coughs> I'm just gonna leave the bot doing what it's doing right now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, finish sending friend request. Excellent. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna start the bot. Okay, right now you can see it's gathering machine information. Here you can see the experience, the stats, all the stuff leveling up. Now you can see 10 out of 10 energy. It should increase. There we go, 17 out of 17. Leveled up again and it will continue and continue and continue until you have no potions enabled or left or whatever now in case you don't have any potion settings enabled or you don't have any potions at all just check this box resume playing when energy is fully refilled what happens is the monitor will start in the bot and if the bot is not doing anything but being idle it will automatically resume playing missions uh, when your energy is full, s full so you can leave the bot running in the background for days and days and days and it will continue leveling without timing out all right so yeah that's about it what i got to say it's a quick run through um if you need specific tutorials or anything like that please check out the home page for more tutorials and things like that all right anyways i hope you're gonna enjoy this bot system and um, just know that i'll be keeping this updated and updated uh, on a daily basis um, i won't provide daily updates of course but whenever needed an update will come all right anyways see you all and have a great day bye bye